The historical figure of Jesus Christ is one of the most widely known stories of our entire world. And the cross that is attributed to his story is a deeply ingrained aspect to his worldwide worship. But what if the cold planet of Saturn had something to do with this worship of Jesus and his mighty cross? Find out next on this episode of Decode Your Reality. And hello everyone, welcome once again. My name is Logan and this is Decode Your Reality. Today, of course, we're doing one on Jesus, the cross, and the planet Saturn. And we're going to decode that using multiple modalities. Now, before I start, I want to just show you guys this is what I'm using to break all this stuff down. I'm integrating all of these mystical arts and science together to define and express this presentation. I'm using science, my favorite right here, because we can measure these numbers. You know, you have your protons, how many protons this has, your atomic mass, your personality, as I like to call it. Um, and then we're going to be using numerology, the numbers 0 through 9. We're going to be using the tarot. And then, of course, we're going to be using logic and common sense, which I think a lot of people ignore and they don't want to use. They see something and they refute it. They, they ignore it. They don't want to believe it. And I think this is the biggest one you have to utilize right here is logic and common sense. So going back to this here, obviously I don't have a picture of Jesus here, but I do have a picture of the cross because it's right there. There's the cross. And, you know, this is, of course, the magic square of Saturn. We all know that. Most of you watching should already know that. And we know that if we add up these three numbers, no matter which way you go, you're going to get the number 15. This is huge <clears throat> when it comes to the occult. And, you know, why the number 15? Do, do you know why the number 15 is embedded in this cube? Do you know why? I'm going to get into that. But, you know, the biggest standout, <clears throat> excuse me, for this cube is the centerpiece, the number 5. And we're going to get into that, hot and heavy. Why is the number 5 in the very middle? Well, remember, the fifth chakra is the throat chakra. That's where we do all our expressing. So whatever you say is a magic spell. And our world is made up of nothing but spells through the spoken word. That's the way it works. It's called alchemy. And we use our words to define our reality. And that's why the five is in the centerpiece. We're going to get, in, get into that. And the cross is in there. And I think Saturn has a huge influence on this historical figure, Jesus and the cross. So... You know, this, of course, is the cube, the Saturn's cube. And then we all know if you, you know, you kind of unfold the cube, you get the cross right here. It's rather interesting. And I, and I believe that this is Malkuth right there. If you follow the tree of life in the Kabbalah, this is Malkuth. This is the kingdom. Come down and, you know, if you make this cross over your body, from top to bottom, left to right or right to left, doesn't matter. You end up coming down here. I mean, you know, the, the, the Germans used the iron cross. It was this right here. You know, the American Red Cross uses this symbol. This is just an added aspect to it from what I what I see. And I believe this would be the kingdom. So when you unfold it from the cube. And, you know, we I talked about the 15 in the beginning of this. The 15th card in the tarot is the devil card. Now, again, this is on what you see. What do you see as I go along this presentation? I'm just going to give you what I see. But it doesn't matter what I see. It doesn't matter what I say. It's what you see and what you say. I just show you the things and then you got to make a decision. But you have to look around our world and you have to ask yourself, is our world more destructive or constructive? That's an easy one. It's more of the destructive nature. And it's because the bozos that run this world don't give two shits about us. They care about themselves. They live through this card. So when we, when we talk about that, we talk about ego to self. Their ego is all about themselves. They don't care about you and I. They care about themselves. It's all about pleasure themselves. And that's why this card is one of control, illusion, deception, and materialism. The ego. Now, you're free to do what you want. That's why the chains are loosely bound around their necks. You can just take them off. But people are heavily influenced by this card because they're under the trance or the hypnotic aspects of the magic spells that they're, uh, that they're given to each other. 
Now, the reason why I have the six card here is because the 15, the one and the five adds up to six. That's why the devil card is tied heavily to this lover's card. Obviously, a breath of fresh air when you look at the picture versus this one. You know, you, you really have a nice picture here of peace and tranquility. But if it's influenced by the ego and materialism and illusion, this gets convoluted and dirty. And that's what they're trying to do on this planet. They're trying to use magic and spells to dirty your mind. That's why everything mostly around us is all dirty and disgusting. Because these idiots that run the world, they use this on us. And the 15 is the mirror of the 51. We're going to get into that because the 51 is embedded in the cross. That's what I believe. I'm going to show you that. Now the 5 and the 1, when we break those down, you can interchange these. The 1 and the 5, the 5 and the 1. This will make sense to you of why the 15 is embedded in Saturn's cube. The magic square. Because the 5th card is the Hierophant and the 1st card is the Magician. This is the Pope. The Dictator. The one that runs all the religions and the governments. That's why, you know, religion is embedded in the U.S. government. You'll see him at all the ceremonies. Because the Hierophant runs the show. That's why the Vatican is the largest religion in the world. Because of this right here. All religions are the same thing, just packaged differently. But they're all controlled by the Hierophant right here, the five. And I, and I, and I mentioned the, how important the five is. And of course, he's slinging his magic. It's the first card, the magician. Number one is the number of leadership, beginnings, new beginnings. And five is a very busy number. It's a nonstop number. You combine those two, you get the number six, as I mentioned to you right here, the six. What do you start loving? Well, whatever is dictated to you, whatever is pushed on you, propaganda, through magic, through the spells of the spoken word. And then, of course, the mirror of the 51 is the 15. So these are really important aspects to observe through Saturn square and the cross, because I'm going to show you that. Cross is right here inside this card. It's right there. They use this a lot in our reality. And then they use magic, of course, to express this bullshit that they push on everybody, which is all service to self. So Saturn's magic cross right here, or I call it magic cross, the magic square. We all know if you follow the yellow brick mode, one to two, three, four, and you follow those numbers, you'll get this sigil right here inside the square of Saturn. But, you know, over here I have a blank one, and I'm going to show you some stuff in here because there's the cross embedded right there. But I put the zero here because I believe this is the kingdom. And we go down into the kingdom. We end up following down. It's just a flash of creation. Quite possibly could be where we end up. Inside the world, our earth. Right here. The sphere. The two Taurus fields that are put together. Right there. So when you make the cross across your body, from head to, from head to chest, left to right, or right to left, are you indeed making this these numbers, this pattern right here? It's very possible. This is just a theory of mine, just an opinion. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying observe it. What do you see? What do you think? But when we put that cross in there, right here, very easy, put it in there. You, you'll notice it comes all the way down to the zero. I think that's, you know, the cross, of course, this is um, the American Red Cross. I put that in there just to show you the symbol. You know, the Germans have the Iron Cross. It looked just like that, kind of. But the cross comes down a little bit farther. And that's why I have the zero there. I believe that's the way it works. Either way, you're making the cross across this cube. And then, of course, when we measure that in atomic weights, right here, you'll see you have the nine, the five, the one, the three, and the seven. Right there. Nine, five, one, three, seven. There's the cross. And when you break that down and add it up in atomic weights, you add up all these atomic weights, you get the number 50 friggin' one. 51 which I've already showed you right there. So what are you pushing when you make the cross? Observe the cross. Is this a possibility? What do you see? I see the 51. I see that. I see that. What do you see? Now I talked about Jesus Christ in this because he has a lot to do with this. The Christ consciousness. It's a beautiful consciousness. It really, really is. But is it bled in with some deep, dark stuff? You know, again, it's, it depends on what the reality is that you see. It depends on the stuff that you believe. That's what makes up your reality. Now, I say this this, uh, this icon, this symbol of Saturn, it's, it's, it's shown many ways. Sometimes they come out with a little curl on the end, but 
This is an ancient symbol of Saturn. And I say it looks a heck of a lot like the five. Don't you agree? There's the five right there. And of course, there's the cross on top. Now, it's embedded inside this picture of Jesus. It's right in the centerpiece right here. And I'm going to show you how that is. You see the heart with the cross on it. And well, we all we have to do is we have to make a mirror of Saturn symbol and just bring it together. And voila. Doesn't that look exactly like this right here? It does to me. Certainly looks exactly like that. Just moving that Saturn symbol right into each other, right? like just like that. A heart with a cross on it. There it is right there. So is Jesus Christ the historical figure that is told about by billions and billions of trillions and trillions of people, talked about, worshipped on a daily basis, following the Christ? Does he have anything to do with Saturn? Or is that just half of it? Is half of it Saturn and the other half something else? I don't know. I'm still trying to make heads or tails of it, but I mean, I thought this was absolutely mind-blowing to me right here, looking at that and seeing that picture. This is just an artist's illustration, but there are millions of them on Google. Not just one, there's tons of renditions. And of course, this is the zodiac sign behind his head. So those of you that, you know, follow the Bible and stuff, man, it's astrology. So get over yourself. The Bible is a spell book and it's all about astrology. Whether you want to believe that or not, those are the facts. If you want to refute that, your navel's going to pop once the truth comes out. I can assure you that. But what do you see? Again, I'm just showing you. I'm not saying this is true. It is in my eyes, but what do you see? I see that symbol right there. And I believe Jesus and the cross is tied to Saturn. That's what I believe. Now, I talked about the 51 because the element antimony is the 51st element. And look at what they use for the logo. The all-seeing eye. I've talked about this before. The all-seeing eye of Horus. Alistair Crowley is designed to usher in the Aeon of Horus. And of course, this is an ancient symbol of protection. They used to use antimony sulfide as a mascara. Perhaps why it's so dark. But, I mean, you know, the Royal Society of Chemistry decided to use this as their logo. If you go to the periodic table, and you click on the visual element images, you'll see all these have different elements and pictures to them. Who chose these? I'd like to talk to the people or, pre or person that was responsible for choosing these and pick their brain and ask them, why did you pick it? I mean, this is phosphorus right here, the 15th element. Can remember, we're talking about the devil card, right? The 15th card is phosphorus. And look at what the shape of this is. I've gone over this, this right here. Now, like it or I'm not trying to say the masons are bad, but this certainly looks like the mason compass and square. It's right in there. Now, I'm not saying that's true. That's a possibility. And I've decoded that before. It's really, really interesting. And of course, phosphorus has an atomic weight of 30 or 31, depending on which way you look at it. Now, I wanted to throw this in there because I'm, we're trying to, again, express our reality. And the devil card, I said, is a card of service to self. It's a service to self. That's why you got the upside down pentagram and you got the big, you know, devil guy here. It's a service to self. And you need to be conscious and aware of that to break free and take the chains off. Of course, you have a choice. But if you're under an illusion, if you're under some spells and you don't see that, you're just going to be hypnotized and you ain't going to do nothing. You're just going to go along with the show, along for the ride. Well, United Nations equals 51, just like that cross does. Do you think the United Nations have your best interests at heart? you got to be blind to believe that. And the United Nations equals 51. Look at this one. This one blew me away when I found it. I study a lot of the latitude longitude on a map. The X marks the spot where these locations are. And look at what 51 is. It's London's north latitude line. 51 degrees north in London, the crown. We bow to the crown. Who do you think controls a lot of the reality or, or a lot of the news and a lot of the government and politics and religion? You bet your ass it's London, the crown. And it's because it sits at 51 degrees north. You think the United Nations is not in bed with London? You can bet your ass they are. Again, what do you see? I'm saying it's true. What do you see? Now to wrap this up, I did another video on decoding Alistair Crowley. His name equals 51. Remember, he, his birth name was not Alistair, it was Edward. He changed it to Alistair, and I believe he did it because of this. You break down Alistair, it's a three-syllable word. 
in atomic weights, you get the number 50 friggin' one. Again, you know, you gotta ask yourself, what are the odds of that? Did this guy sit down and, you know, consciously do this? I would say absolutely friggin' lutely he did. Without a shadow of a doubt. And he equals the number 51. Pope, magician. The Pope and the magician, 51. It's right there. So what do you see? You know, London, 51. United Nations, 51. You know? And of course, this is a huge thing right here. The symbol of Saturn tying in right there, the heart of Jesus, the you know, the heart chakra. What you love, you express. What are you what are you in love with? Trying to push the five on you quite a bit. And then of course the 51, the 15, the mirror, the lover's card. What do you see in all of this? And there it is, the magic squire of Saturn. That's all I got for today. My name is Logan. This is Decode Your Reality. Till next time, thanks for watching.